I would call myself an eternal Okay, we're good. Brother saving very, not the brother. The yeah. Facebook is saving very slowly, so I can get back to the go live button for Facebook. Is this in a good spot? Sure. Yeah, I did. Okay. That's good. Um, what chunks of do you want? We'll do the whole thing. Like, we'll do the whole thing. I don't know. All of it. The little bits. The weird bits that are hard, like, you know, the stuff. Well, I just need my hand to the machine, so don't turn them wrong. Put your machine cards draped on your camera. That one, that'll work. I'll figure it out. Probably right. probably most of it eventually. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm not. <laughs> Please don't hold me hostage. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see you right now. They can only hear your voice and you're saying you're not holding me hostage. I promise. Help! I'm being held hostage in a fabric store. Please, please don't let me go. <laughs> we are loving it. <laughs> there's fabric, there's thread, there's machines. New machines. There's coffee. <gasps> there's a fridge. And I have skipped the dishes on my phone. If I have to be a hostage, I'm comfortable being a hostage in my sewing room. <laughs> Anyway, uh, welcome to Tuesday Facebook Live at my sewing room. I'm Leah, um, hanging out back there. The close-up camera is Chelsea. Um, <laughs> like we mentioned last week, uh, it is new machine season here at my sewing room, um, which is, I don't know, is it your favorite time of the year? It might be my favorite. I think it's better than Christmas. Right? Because I don't get to open this many machines at Christmas. Yeah, we should have a talk with your other half about that. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so, uh, we're unboxing the new machines that are launching as they come in. Last week, uh, last week it was Bernina week. This week it's Brother week today. You get Sandy tomorrow. Might get one more unboxed later this week. Maybe. We've got our North Pole Tier Tray event happening Wednesday, Thursday. Which... Um, Facebooks are going to work around that and maybe you'll pop in and take a look and see what's going on in the classroom Thursday. I know Sandy's got her plan for tomorrow for Facebook. I think she's filming upstairs in Dawn's room. I think she sure is. I think so. So that's what's going on. Um, so yeah, we've got new things. Um, we have a new machine to unbox. Uh, this is wildly different than what we unboxed last week because it's a different brand. And it's a fabulous machine um, for kind of your starter embroidery sewer kind of person. And and this is something that I'm just really happy about because there was something similar launched in the U.S. last year and we never got it here. We had so many questions. <laughs> so this is the new replacement for the thing we were not able to get last year, which I'm thrilled about. So without further ado, we are unboxing a Brother uh, SE2000 today. Um, so the SE2000 is a sewing embroidery combo machine from Brother. Um, it's similar in size to what we've had for the last little while, which is the NS2750D, um, whereas the D denotes Disney designs. Uh, this SE2000 does not have Disney. So if you uh, want all the fabulous embroidery features um, and sewing features, but you're just not a Disney fan, or your kids aren't the right age, you're not the right age, you like the other... I don't know pop culture well enough to know, like, Marvel, DC, who's... <laughs> I don't know the things. <laughs> Oh, you've got stuff out of the box already. You've got a power cord. Yeah. And a foot pedal. And a foot pedal. Perfect. And a spool cap. Secondary spool pin and a spool cap. And a goodie bag. And a goodie bag. Are you going to drop me the goodie bag? Of course I'm going to give you the goodie bag. Okay. Oops. Throwing stuff across the table. And manual. 
Manuals. But a quick start guide, usually. That can probably stay in the box. I probably don't need those over here. Oh, I found the machine. You found the machine already? I found it already. But you didn't get it out of your Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a free hand system. An e lift. It has an e lift with it. I wasn't anticipating that. Me neither. I didn't really I mean, read. I'm pretty sure that's the thing with Fox that it is. That. It looks knee lifty to me. So that means a knee lift for lifting your presser foot. That is fantastic on this machine. That is fabulous. More styrofoam. Check your styrofoam carefully as you unbox your own machines at home. Uh, sometimes there's things hiding in the styrofoam. Not in this one. Perfect. Oh, she's cute. It is cute. I like the gray on top. I'll take that from you. What else is in the box, Chelsea? And then we'll then we'll go through the machine machine up here. There's another box. Another, another box. box. A box within a box. Boxception? Is that what a box inside a box is? A box section? Oh, that's not the same. Oh, that looks like an embroidery frame. Sure does. And a template? Yep. What size is that? Like a five by seven. Sweet. Five by seven? Yeah. Fantastic. Definitely a five by seven. And an extra bottom cake. Sweet. That'll be for embroidery. Some bottom thread. Also for embroidery. And a cute little module. This machine will pack away really small if you don't have dedicated space to leave a machine set up. This will be a great machine to pack away because it, it packs down pretty pretty tight and tidy. Sweet. You can probably leave that over there. Alright. I think that'll work. <laughs> uh general consensus uh in the comments is other people could also be a hostage here in the store <laughs> join me i'm actually now going to hold me a hostage <laughs> are you coming to join me i am you sh let's switch chairs okay i'll go around nope that's um we'll go to that camera that was the wrong camera that around. They can see me sneaking. They can see you sneaking. <laughs> it wasn't sneaking. It's not sneaky at all. Goodness. Okay. <sighs> well, that's fun. We made it. Do you want to unbox the other stuff? Of course they do. Then we'll, then we'll then we'll play with the fun fun thing that comes with this. Um. So when you first get all of these machines home, we're not on the right camera there, Chelsea. Don't worry. We might have to move close up back a little bit. Oh. I there we go. So all the fancy little blue tape is going to come off. Oh, it just kept going. I know. So much blue tape. At least it's not yellow tape. For danger. <laughs> there's no danger here. And just there's fun. no red tape. <laughs> I like blue tape. Not a bureaucratic machine. <laughs> <laughs> no. Perfect. And that little uh, slide on table um, storage box comes off. Oh, she's so pretty. And there's probably stuff hiding in that box if you want to check that out. Sometimes there is, sometimes it's hiding in the little bag you passed me earlier. Should be lift on the little tab there. Put it back on the machine and try lifting. I think that'll be easier. <laughs> or it's not fighting you back. There we go. Look at all those feet. Ooh. <gasps> There's an extra one in there. Look at all those feet. So yep. most... Buttonhole. Yep, buttonhole. Button fitting foot. Yep, that'll be M. Uh, You have a monogramming foot is N. Yep. I is zipper foot. J is on the machine. That's your zigzag. Yep. 
You have three bobbins here and one in your machine. Yep, so four bobbins. R is blind tap. Yep. And G, I actually never know this one. Overcasting. Overcasting. So if you need to finish seams and you don't own a serger. That is. And we have a seam ripper because nobody's perfect all the time. And we have our embroidery foot. Nice. Foot Q. And it's got its own fancy little storage spot in there, it too. It does. It's very cute. Let's see if I can get this off now. It's right in this spot. Look at how cute that is. Right? It's okay. adorable. Does it jiggle around? That's great. I love that. You've got more goodies here, too. And it reminds you it's down there. It's like, foot cues down here. I'm hiding. <laughs> Don't forget about me. And that bag of goodies, too. Oh, goodness. Okay. For pre-wound bottles? So that funny little metal thing um, is for if you accidentally get the pre-wounds that are too short. So the, the size on the bobbins uh, for this machine and most of the current Brother lineup, um, the part number is SA-156, and they're the bobbins that are 7 16th of an inch tall. Um, so nearly half inch bobbins. There's other bobbins that are 11 16th that fit some of the older things, and some of the pre-wounds are too short. So that extra bobbin thing is for that. There's scissors. Needles. Needles. I bet you there's more needles. But needle. Are there more needles? Nope. Oops. Spool cap again. Screwdriver. Yep. I love how many screwdrivers brother machines. Right. Use. And they're functional too. They're great. They're useful. Little cleaner. Little limpish. Limpish. Thread net. Got a really slinky thread that's falling down its spool. Okay, this is my favorite spool cap okay, on the planet. You have to lower it just a little oh. bit. This is my favorite. So spool that cap. spool cap fits in. Is there a spool of ice cord next to you there? There was one in that bucket the other day, and then I moved it. I can get one. Oh, I can reach one down here in the door. Do you want one? Yeah. Hang on. I got a stash. Oh, yes. I'll come back. So this is just a regular spool of ice cord. Little gray spool. <gasps> and then your thread doesn't get stuck between those cone shaped spools and the spool cap. Because that can break needles. And it can make you sad. Just snap your thread and be yeah. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> this shape, that disc shaped screwdriver is mostly for the screws on your needle plate. Another spool cap. There's so many spool caps with these two. Screwdriver. <laughs> and the thing nobody knows what it is. The orange I, thing. I know what it is. What is it, Chelsea? It's for punching eyelets. Yeah. Isn't there's it? a really great eyelet function on these machines. Well, and some of the uh, buttonhole stitches have that round bit at the end. Yeah. And then you can use this to punch that. Right? So, like, the keyhole buttonholes. Like, for on your jeans. See if this... I wonder if this has my sneaky spool cap storage. <gasps> it does. Did I show you this yet? No, but let's turn off that corner. Okay. So, where's your sneaky spool cap storage? So... I love using the tiniest spool cap on my brother machine. I use it a lot. And I found the best spot to store it is right there. And then it doesn't run away and become a cat toy. So when you're changing threads, I just put it there. If you're winding a bobbin, it will launch for freedom. <laughs> uh, so don't put it there if you're winding a bobbin. But just for regular, just hanging out, it lives there. Nice. I like it. I like it too. Sweet. Oh, and look at all those stitches. So they're all shown in the top cover there, which is so handy. So you don't have to go rooting through the menus to find the stitch you want. Mm -hmm. I really like that. And they have the buttonholes you need the eyelet punch for. Yes, and the actual button, the actual eyelet. And there's a button so one stitch. What? That's what that M thing is for. What are these stitches for? They're cool. Up arrow. Do they, those? Does this have sideways? This has sideways feed. This has sideways feed. I did not know that this machine has sideways feet. That's fantastic. That is so great. Oh, that's excellent. I was excited about all the other things, the embroidery functions and features on this one. I didn't look at... I did see... No, did I see one of these at 
at my brother training. I did not see an SE2000. Um, That's great, though. Yeah. And secondary spool caps or spool pins. So if you're running a twin needle. Yes. Yeah. I need your extra thread. Can you put that one here? Yeah, usually on your bobbin winder. And then it'll stand up for you. Oh, this is a fantastic machine. Right? It's so great. Okay. Should we turn our friend on? We should. Um, one of the things that's really, really cool about... Um, I'm going to turn that corner. So we're not... Um, faceless voices. Um, one of the really cool things about this particular machine um, and a whole bunch of the new launch newly launching brother uh, machines with embroidery features is they have Wi-Fi capability. So when you first uh, get this machine on, um, you'll want to set it up to work on your Wi-Fi network at home. So touch, touch the screen, wake it up all the way. Oh, we'll select your language. I mean, we're, we're speaking English. Here. Okay. Okay. And then we can set up the wireless LAN right away. Do you want to? Uh, we could. I could talk. Do you want to punch in all our secret codes here? I know the stuff. You know the stuff. I have secrets. You have secrets. So this will be, you'll want to set up for your network at home. But I'm just going to switch to this camera for a moment while you poke at that. Um, part of the reason you'll want to set up your wireless network is there is a free app from Brother that launched a couple weeks ago. And it is for... Uh, kind of doing a little bit of your own design work for embroidery. So the app is called Art Spira. Uh, it's in the comments below on YouTube and in the um, in the video description on Facebook. Uh, the app is available for both Apple and Android, or Apple and in the Google Play Store. So it doesn't matter which kind of device you run. Um, you'll be able to pull it up and use it to do a little bit of design work, make your own embroidery. They are also launching uh, files within that um, somewhat regularly as far as, as far as I'm aware. Uh, when I first downloaded Art Spira, um, there was a whole bunch of Halloween designs in there that I, that if any of my Wi-Fi enabled machines had been here, I would have been able to send um, those designs directly to the machine and import them myself, which would be super cool. So, it's connecting? It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. Okay. So Artspira, um, if you're like this generation of technology user, you're going to have no troubles with this. If, if you're more of a computer end user, I think there's options. But I've only read into like the phone and tablet version of this so far. Because that's what I've read so far. <laughs> I downloaded it on my phone. Um, so if you know somebody younger that's looking to get into this and start sewing or embroidering, um, they will be unstoppable with this technology in their hands. Oh, yeah. Right? Well, it has sideways motion. Right? Uh, <laughs> do you want to hit OK? And then do you think we can show Art Spear on your phone? Ooh. And yes. what it has with it? Go back to close up. Just lay my phone there. So perfect spot. In the Art Spear app, um, there is there's things like templates. There's a drawing mode. Um, uh, do you know if Art Spear is? Oh, Teresa, I think your question is going to be: Is it compatible with the XP series machines? I believe yes. If you've done the latest update. Ooh, fancy. Because it is a Wi-Fi enabled machine. Cute. Right? I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> we found a pumpkin in Art Spira. Oh, so it'll give you all the thread colors. Um, and these are pulling up in uh, the Art Spira is compatible with Mac products. I know that for sure because it's in the Apple Play Store. I'm on an iPhone right You're now. You're on too. an iPhone right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is not like a full digitizing program. It's it's a starter program for sure. Um, but you can send that design to your machine. Oh, you haven't connected a machine yet. Do might have to do that. 
You have not sent all the data. Do you want to continue and ask me if I messed up? That's great. Oh, nice. I like that. Okay. <laughs> This is um, fun. Somewhere on the bottom there, under profile, probably, or my machines. You know, we should, we should actually connect setting? this to the store phone. Maybe that's yeah, we a tomorrow should. thing. Tomorrow thing. Oh, yeah, here's machines. You can register your machine right through there. And you could do the uh, scan, and, scan cut. and cut. Yeah. We should definitely put this all on the store phone. That would be so fun. We can right? do so many things. I know. And they're releasing designs, and you can do your own design work in there at Spira. So definitely worth poking at. Um, give it a try, even if you don't own the machine. You do not need a machine to be able to access the app because the app is free. Could there snowflake? I'm sorry, I'm distracted. There's so much cute stuff oh, on there. Oh, there's a kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, right? It's so cute. Are all these designs free? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> free. So Download cute. the app. Oh, I already have it downloaded. I'm good. You just need a Wi-Fi enabled brother and braider machine yeah, just, to use them. I just need the other half of it. I just yeah. need an embroidery machine. <laughs> we can hook you up. Aww, they're seeming really adorable. It's like that. Right? Oh, this is great. Uh, if is there a new option down at the bottom of your screen there, Chels? New? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. So this is if you wanted to design your own. Choose your favorite template to get started. Sure. Customize template by moving, scaling, and color. Ooh, it tells me everything. Ooh, I want to make a small one. Do I just doodle? Ooh. That wasn't a very good doodle. That is very much a doodle. <laughs> it's very doodly. <laughs> Erase it. Nothing happened. Do you think I could draw Leah? I don't know. How are your portrait skills? I am happy to be at work I'm doing machine stuff today. <laughs> Going great. How's your hair today? <laughs> this is I love it. It's hard to draw, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and, oh, that's not what I want. Let's cancel that button. <laughs> Can I change the color, Leah? Is there a button for that? Uh, like I said, I've downloaded the app. Okay. Haven't played with it enough to know 100% what it can do. Let's save our picture. My picture is saved as Leah Portrait. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so now we all know my art skills aren't strong. <laughs> but that'll show you a Stitch Player preview. So you'll know how it'll stitch out. <laughs> this is great. So it's it's line drawings in, in your own stuff for now. I don't know what other features they're going to be adding into our Spira yet. Um, oh, it's really easy. Looks like you just send them. Yeah, just hit transfer. Right, from there. right? Well, that was easy. Isn't that fantastic? I'm going to stitch out this picture of you one day. Yeah. Blue hair. I'm going to figure out how to get blue in there. Uh, you might just have to thread with blue when you get to the machine, but I think each each line that you draw is its own segment, and it'll stop and let you change threads as as needed. Oh, fantastic. So should we figure out which color of blue for my hair? So we should stitch this out and see how it goes one day. Yeah. You've got it saved. We're good. I do. I saved my perfect <laughs> your perfect portrait my perfect me. portrait um what, what color of blue is my hair on oh the icicore goodness. chart today because this is our new thing when i dye my hair we figure out the new <laughs> thread color that it matches it's hard to get in there <laughs> thread thread charts are great for everything that one's too too light i was thinking 3906 
Really? But I'm I don't... thinking 4423 almost. 44. Oh, nice. I think that's almost what it is. It's like a... Man, those are too blue. It's kind of greeny. Right? <laughs> what one did you think it was? Um, it was on the like the like kind of neon side down here. Mm, yeah. Three. No, I don't. I don't think it's that color. Okay. I think it's forty-four twenty-three. Too teal for that color. <laughs> yep. I think it's forty-four twenty-three. Good to know. This one. Okay. That's real my thread chart. Real thread charts are fantastic. You get much more accurate colors than mm -hmm. looking at a paper printout. If you need one. Usually we have stock. I think we're out of it right now. <laughs> if you need to match threads to somebody's hair. It's perfect. For your for your art spirit portrait. Maybe maybe whoever you're matching won't have blue hair and it'll be easy. <laughs> yeah, I think mine would be very easy. Probably. Um <laughs> complete aside. That'd be a whole different time. Uh Want to show off another three-yard quilt from our staff challenge? Yeah, because I showed off all the ones on the wall yesterday, and another one got finished. Another one got finished today. Um, so this one belongs to Barb. Got some threads hanging out. There's threads everywhere. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. There was three ways to quilt it on here. Yeah, Barb, Barb got really creative with her quilting. So there's some hand quilting. Orange dashes. Which did not comply with the rules of the challenge. However, um, in the little L-shaped uh, cream-colored blocks, she did all of that quilting uh, using the Luminaire and the projector. It's the XP2. And that was her first time quilting with the embroidery machine. We're sagging. We're sagging, sorry. You keep coming over here. <laughs> Stay over there, Leah. <laughs> So it looks fabulous. Well, I think this one was done on Pro Stitcher. Yeah, that looks like a Pro Stitcher design. So quilted it three different ways. I think she got her label. Yep. Uh, on it this morning. There. That was done on the Luminaire. That was done on the Luminaire as well. So cute. So another fabulous three yard quilt. Um, it'll hit the wall next week, maybe? Hard maybe to get. next week? Maybe earlier, later this week. We'll see how the week goes. Um, Generally, going up the ladders to get quilts on the wall is a Monday thing. Yeah, it generally takes a bit. <laughs> takes a bit. A little bit of work. Um, other things going on around here today. New fabric. New fabric. It's pretty. It's beautiful. The links are in our descriptions. It's Tilda Hometown, Tilda Neighborhood, and Tilda Chambray Dot. The chambray dots are adorable. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. They're scrumptious. And the chambray is so soft. I like her whole line. Is all of the Tilda fabric is super soft. It's all lovely. Look at the definition. Do you want the other camera set? Put it right side up. Nice. And the colors are just, they're warm and... They're warm and cozy. So they're warm, but they're also like cool. They're like they're they're, they're they're wonderful. Right? I love the colors. They're yeah. almost jewelry, like a jewelry jewel top. Yeah. I love them. Tilda's stuff is so pretty. She's got a very different vibe than lots of North American designers. She's very European. Mm -hmm. I met the lady at Bernina University who does all the quilting on the Tilda samples for cool yeah she's got a store in Norway did you ask her to move here and come work here instead well she's got her own store so I'm like maybe I should just go to Norway and visit you fair. you're fun to hang out with fair <laughs> she was lovely <laughs> so if you're in Norway <laughs> there's a lovely Bernina store I don't remember the name of her store you're yeah. at how oh, could you I know her name Okay. But yeah. We one... could probably find, find we, it. We could help you out. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> store. Um, yes. Yeah, so new fabric, new machines, Art Spear app. An event tomorrow. An event tomorrow. Some more classes coming up in the calendar. They're listed on um, the website mm -hmm. for in November. And Leah didn't bring her tree skirt today. Nope. 
<laughs> maybe nope, next not. week. Uh, maybe maybe tomorrow. I got most of the way. Maybe tomorrow. I got the tree skirt trimmed last night. And my binding is made. Mm -mm. But then it was time to go to bed. Yeah. <gasps> because I started looking. Bedtime. Yeah, I can't stay up all night mm -hmm. sewing. It's fair. Because... People like me to be a functional human at work. Yeah, we need to come to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm allowed to so leave work. Mind. Apparently I'm a hostage. But. Um, it's true. Yes. I think you'll have a tree skirt to show off tomorrow for our tree skirt class running in December. <gasps> That's exciting. Yes. But we'll be at an event tomorrow. Maybe Sandy can show it off. Yeah. Something like that. Um, other things going on. Uh, we have some floor models for sale. And. To be uh, ever. Some fabulous trading machines and some new stuff on order. So mm -hmm. um, if you're thinking you're getting a machine for yourself for Christmas or for somebody else, um, don't wait a long time because the options will get weirder the closer we get to Christmas, I think. Mm -hmm. Right now, kind of the best of everything. Um, the new launch stuff should be arriving soon. Like the floor models are trickling in and the other machines from previous year's floor models uh, when they're gone they're gone so <gasps> they're gone but we have room for new things oh good okay yeah that's comforting yes we only have so much room on the floor i'm not allowed to have all the machines forever we can't have all of them not forever okay i guess we'll sell them we'll let them go to their forever homes they can they can go hang out with someone you just got to come back and join us for the odd class or two yeah. so you can get to know your machine better yeah and so we can not miss it so much. <laughs> yeah, we need to see our friends. They have to come back sometime. Yeah. And if you're having a great time on your own and you're not wanting to come to classes, you'll probably need to come in for service. And we have an in-house service department as well. We sure do. And they do scissor sharpening. 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 <laughs> sharpening. <laughs> Perfect. We got this. Words are hard. Words are hard. <laughs> uh, so thanks for joining us for unboxing the SE2000 today. Um, it's pretty if you get into the Art Spirit app and start playing around, we'd love to see what you're making. Please show us. And you have a few more days to make something for our October Viewers Challenge, which is make something that can be worn. I'm doing that for tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'll have to wear my tree skirt as a cape. Well, I am. <laughs> You've got a project in mind. You can show it off tomorrow. I'm so excited for it. Sweet. <laughs> going to be ridiculous so you can share your photos on in our facebook group email us social at mysewingroom.ca or pop into the store with them and share a photo mm -hmm. 